Uh, so yeah, hello to Zunamed Omets Vicoch, Jedi Master John, Fenris Waffles, and Odd Toaster. If I could implement any mod feature into KSP without taking effort, what would you want most? I, I honestly want the visual upgrades that we see as a stock thing, if that's what you're asking. Uh, as of Vigo, the previous game was Apotheon, which is by Alien Trap. Oh look, it's it's different. Let's take a look. It, oh, notice how the version number is 1.1.0 rather than 1.1.3. Interestingly. Okay, here we go. There's the camera. And SAS comes on by default. Okay, now what's the button for landing gear? Okay, so one of the things they've done... Uh, hold on. Oh, apparently I've turned off SAS. Toggle brakes. Toggle gear, action group. There we go. Let's put the, the gear down. Excellent, landing gear is here. But... Oh, 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 okay. I'm trying to roll, I'm trying to turn this thing and it is not wanting I don't have roll control here, so what I really want to do... Okay, so another of the things I really wanted and didn't get put in, uh, it's kind of disappointing, is that I wanted aircraft to come down with a standard control mode of that would apply roll. Oh man, come on, get over the runway, damn it! Oh man! Oh, stalling it! I'm trying to roll this thing, that's the problem. Okay. <sighs> okay, so when I talked to the devs, I very specifically told them that having... that we needed roll on the joystick. There are alternative flight schemes. How do we select them? Yeah. Pirate, your flight instructor was never flying a brick. When you're flying a brick, there is no togo, or no toga, whatever. Okay, here we go one more time. So, first thing, what? How do you get roll on this? No, that's not roll. That's joystick. That's SAS. Oh, that's roll. Okay, roll is on the, 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 the corner buttons. Okay, that actually makes a bit more sense. Okay, so uh, default actions. Let's bring those wheels down. Okay, now that's Orion in the background. Hello. So now this is actually a little better. It's slightly better. It's still terrible, but it's slightly better. Okay, you know, I think think we're doing just fine here. Now, you know what I need is default actions. Let's toggle brakes just to make sure. Okay, make sure I got brakes on hand. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I was about to say beautiful landing, but apparently Apparently, I overstressed my front landing gear. Okay, ready? We're gonna flare hard again. Come on! Flare! Flare! I'm trying to get the camera right. <laughs> ah, yes. Flare! Okay, well, that was not the most successful landing ever, but I will take it. I have to say, I'm quite proud of that. Who, do, who is this? We have Mitos, Kate, and Intrid. 
Yeah, so pitch and yaw are on the, or sorry, roll. So what I had suggested to the devs, and this is actually a re reasonable compromise. What I'd suggest was that for, uh, you know how you have docking mode versus uh, map mode and all that? They should have added a plane versus rocket mode that basically exchanged yaw and pitch. So uh, yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> Let's try that. Default actions. No, it doesn't. That's just spinning. That's no good. That controls my role. Now, how do I zoom in and out? You know what? Let's put on that. No. Space Chuck Norris. That's not a name that I deserve by any means. Oh, that changes camera mode. Good to know. And this brings the mouse out so I can uh, do things like, I can maybe find a place to transfer them. Oh, there's the crew hatch there, hold on. Crew. If I could zoom in. Nope. Oh, that's interesting. Holding that lets me pan in this direction. Okay, and that's that, and that's that, okay. That's the actions, camera mode. How do I select things? Default actions, no, that's not it. Oh, oh, it's that button apparently. I thought I'd select that button, ah, oh, hold on. So I selected that. Transfer crew. Wow, this is really bright and green. And this is where I'm like, please select that Jebediah Kerman transfer to this capsule here. Sweet. Jeb is now here. We still, does anyone know how to do zoom? Because that would be really helpful if we can change the zoom here. Yeah. mode is these three, basically. Docking, map, and staging. Let's just take a look at map. Oh, that's interesting that that is hidden down there. Oh, you know what? Notice how the UI is kind of weird. This is, it is strangely buggy. Yeah, there's like weird gaps at the edges of the screen. I'm guessing because it, uh, yeah, I'm guessing because we are dealing with a game. Okay, we still haven't figured out how to zoom in and out. Zoom in, out, zoom. Oh. That switches between planets. Good to know. No, they just want to sell a few more copies, that's all. Which is totally valid. Nope. Oh, there, wait. So R1 with the right joystick, that's what you gotta do. There we go. Okay. That's that figured out. Okay, so this zooms in and out. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, back to the UI mode, selecting staging mode. Flying around. Oh, I, I you can totally play this well with a gamepad. I think just that they need to work a little on some of the controls here. Okay, so now, let's get this. Aha. And we're going to de decouple... We're now floating freely. This is a one-to-one -one port to, uh, to the console. There's no changes or anything here, right? Let's go in and default actions, default actions, landing gear. Okay, apparently the landing gear is not toggling. That's kind of concerning. Oh. Oh, there we go. How odd. Okay, we're retracted. We're getting ready to uh, descend. Okay. So now, uh, what I want to do, I'm going to switch my commands here. God, there's so much concentration involved here. I'm going to activate my engine.
and check that my thrust is at zero. I should probably figure out what my thrust is, shouldn't I, right? This is not yet out in Europe. Does anybody know how to, I can switch spacecraft? Okay, I'm gonna push this. This is, it does look like a slightly different version. I think maybe the animations are different or the, I don't know what's going on. It's definitely strange. Yes, I know my, my uh, thing is slightly wrong. Okay, so now if I hold this, I'll hold this. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I just performed a staging action. That's that. What is thrust? That's zoom. No. Oh, that's it. There. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let's... You know what? Let's actually find my friend. Where's my friend? I might have to try docking with this guy. No target. There we... Come on. Set as target. Okay, we've got that targeted. And my velocity is almost exactly away from it. Okay, let's see if we can actually dock with this thing again. So first thing we should probably do is fire the thrusters just a little to slow myself down and get close. It appears that I have found the space bar. That is correct. And not the kind of space bar I like. I prefer space bar with like beer and things like that. Okay, so now we're going to start heading back towards... The target. Okay. Moving in at about 0.6 meters per second. We're going to try a docking without any uh, any of that docking stuff. Yeah, this is... Why is the docking port like pointed out there? It's a little confused, I think. <sighs> of course, I have no idea what time accelerate is, so I'm going to rely on you guys to, on the right side of the screen to tell me what time accelerate buttons are. Meanwhile, I'm going to try docking this thing without any uh, docking things. Oh, it's it's hard in every place. Okay, so I'm going to say right away, I think they could do a lot better. That direction, good. We're 98 meters out. I don't know what my... To use time warp, you need to press the button. Oh, that's right. You actually have to push this button up here. Oh, God, no. I'm not doing that. We're going to just fly in manually. Find the controls on the right question mark. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you're right. Wheel steering. Good. Okay, now, while we're moving in slowly, reset trim, th lock stages. Oh, we need the stage lock option. That's what I needed. Focus on previous vessel. L1 or R1 button plus left button. Okay, so like this. Ah, there, I can switch between vessels. Okay, good to know. Let's put this away because we're starting to get closer. And I need to adjust my relative velocity here. I'm going to do this, actually. I'm going to fire my engine just about here. Just a bit. There we go. Moving in towards the target here. Uh, you've seen enough. No console for you. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I think... Listen, if the console is the only thing you have, this is great for building rockets and things like that, but I can totally see that if you've got the PC version, there's almost no reason to get the console version. Other than the achievements, you know... Achievements are, of course, 
kind of cool at, at that. Uh, do, 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 do. Achievements, trophies, whatever you call them. Right, let's, let's do this. Oh man, this is really hard. Let's, this is me trying to dock here. You know what? Look, let's seriously. I've done Q op on with rockets in in space before, right? We did it when uh, I I've flown, you know, like a uh, planes flown um ornithopters. Oh crap! Did that the wrong way. Other direction. Other direction. And now this direction. Still on course. Let's see if we can get this thing to dock. Okay, obviously I'm pointing the wrong direction, but maybe, just maybe, the magnetic force will pull us together. Probably not. We're moving at like 0.3 meters per second. Okay, now at this point I want to do... Uh, uh, uh. Come on! Dock! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Now how do I disable this stability control again? There we go. See! Successfully docked on the PlayStation! So... <laughs> right. So, yes, it is... It is far from ideal. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. I think um Wow, yes. Look, if you have a console and you really want to play Kerbal Space Program, this is not gonna be the same version you get on the PC. Um it is gonna have its own series of problems, but I think uh you know, if it's your only option, it's better than no option, and it's better than many of the alternatives, I have to say. I'm going to have to go and uh, help out with dinner and things like that right now, but uh, I'm uh, glad you guys watched this first attempt, even if it was really bad. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go back to the main menu and try try something else. There we go, okay. Enable stability control, we'll get this thing in the air. <laughs> Yeah, everything is pulled into the middle, and I, I seriously wonder if that is a bug, or a bug related to streaming, or if that is, like, a, an edge of screen thing that has to be set up to get yourself into the... Okay, landing gear was overpowered. Well, I guess I'm not landing this plane again. No left turns. I have earned myself a trophy. Can you believe I haven't earned a trophy yet? Okay, so let's roll this thing around. Oh yeah. Let's flatten this thing out again. Oh, I do not like the way that's going. Okay, we're coming for you, we're coming for you. Oh, bit of a coordinated turn issue there. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to adjust the camera at the same time. This is really, really hard. We're going to do it. Yes! That's what I wanted to see. I... I think there's a number of things with the PlayStation port that need work. That's what I'm going to say. I think that hopefully we'll get some a fixed version because definitely this UI is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on there. I think that the controls could be more obvious. Uh, I think that we could add some helpful modes to you know very quickly switch controls between you know planes and whatever. I, I Listen, and also I think that it could use the touchpad on the PlayStation 4 controller. That would really help. And being able to use keyboard and mouse. Holy crap, keyboard and mouse, very useful. 
and maybe sharing sharing content, sharing things like that. Anyway, I'm going to say fairly well, this is a half hour into the stream, and thanks everyone for watching. I will see you around, and I'll see you later. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.